Hello dreamers, welcome to another episode of our channel, Here We Grow. In the previous video, I was talking about all the things that you should know before you start keto. All the things that I experience and all the things that I research on so many places, I decide to give you on one place, so it will be much, much more easier for you to start keto. In this video, I would like to, to talk about uh, all the benefits that keto does to your body, to your mind. Um, I said mind, and I would start uh, first with that. So there is a lot of changes uh, with your mind, with your brain. Like I said, the brain, the first changes that you will uh, recognize is your mental changes. Uh, immediately you will recognize how calm you are and how much energy you have to do things. You will not gonna feel tired anymore. Your thoughts will be much more focus on things. You will, especially people who have problems with concentrating on some tasks uh, when they're doing, you will notice how much uh, your thoughts will be clear, will be focused on, on something. So that will be the first thing that you will you will uh, notice you will have immediately ideas like your brain will work much more better and when you will need to think of something immediately the ideas will come out they will be there also if you were one of those people who had a problem with your memory like forgetting I don't know, phone numbers. I'm not talking about medical condition for getting. I'm talking about like, just you're not good in memorizing things. Y believe me, trust me, you will notice very big improvement in that area. You will be able to memorize uh, a lot of things. The next thing that it will improve is the, all the vitamins and all the things that you are uh, getting as a result when you're doing a blood work. Um, here's the thing that a lot of people are very confused about the keto and eating more meat than veggies or fruits. All the vitamins and minerals that we need, we are not getting only from fruit and veggies. We are not getting most of them from pills. Most of them we are getting from meat. And I know that a lot of people are not eating like organs or other types of meat besides steak or burgers. Trust me, start eating any type of meat. Eat any part of the, the body, eat any organ, trust me, a lot of vitamins and minerals you will get from there. You will forget about pills, no matter how old you are. Even if you're in the age that the doctor will recommend, oh, you need pills, forget about all those chemicals. If you eat, for example, liver, you will receive all necessary vitamins and minerals that you need. You don't need to eat just veggies and fruit to get vitamins. In the meat, you have even more than fruits and veggies. Eggs are also very important. If you eat eggs, all the vitamins and minerals are there. Try, trust me, six months, make a blood work, go to visit your PCP, make a blood work, and you will see the improvements. And then you will say, mm, Martin was right. Before I start keto, I had a high blood sugar, I had high cholesterol, I had fatty liver, which is very 
dangerous. I reverse all of those things. I'm still working on the cholesterol, but I'm on the right path, but I'm not anymore pre-diabetic and I don't have any more fatty liver. When you're entering in your body healthy fat, that helps you to melt the already fat, the stubborn fat that you have in your body. That's why if you have a fatty liver, that's another health change that you will feel if you start keto. I need to mention, I have like a virtual PCP that I was watching, Dr. Ken Berry. He have a book, The Lies That My Doctor Told Me. I don't want to blame doctors or whoever, but we're people. We can, all of us, we can make mistakes and we can't know everything till we try something. That's why I want to encourage people like to try. If it's something that it's good for you, just keep on going. The reason why I mentioned the book, The Lies That The Doctor Told Me, is that a lot of doctors will put you on a pill if you're diabetic or fatty liver, and that's uh, not uh, um, reversible. Believe me, it is. I'm telling you from my experience. I reverse diabetes and fatty liver. Other change that you will uh, notice, like I said, is the energy. Carbs and the sugars are the one who are doing the spike of your mood and energy and then it's going like this and then this. It's dropping down like very fast and immediate. So being on keto, you will prevent that. You will not gonna have that kind of mood swings and spikes and drops. You will have like a constant energy. After your meals, you will not gonna feel tired. Like you will not gonna feel that um, moment of, I want to go to sleep right now. On the end of the day, you will be tired because you passed like 16 hours of working, of doing things, and you will be exhausted. That's why you will go to bed to sleep not because your sugar level will go down. Like I said at the beginning, the brain will, will work differently and you will notice that from the brain, all the body will start to work differently. You will uh, have much more energy, you will be focused on the task, you will finish all your tasks very easily. And when the night will come, you will be tired and you will go to bed. That's another change that you will feel. Sleeping like a baby. If you wake up, that will be because you're thirsty or you need to go to the bathroom. Snoring, it will stop, believe me. I totally forgot about that. Now I remember, I was snoring. I'm not snoring anymore. If you start keto, like I said, after three or six months, uh, please do a blood work. Make appointment at your PCP and do a blood work. You will see the results. First thing is if you diabetic or pre-diabetic, you will see the difference. I know that it will be hard to stop eating sweets, but you have other sweeteners that just give time to adjust to them and you will be completely fine. Sweeteners who are not making your sugar, blood sugar to spike. Another body changes that I experience are, I had psoriasis uh, and uh, I had fungus on my nails, on my feet, which is very often today, uh, people uh, more and more, they're experiencing that. Um, there's also things that you will notice improvement. And why is that? Because you're gonna stop eating sugar. The sugar 
is one of the main reason for all the bad changes in your body. It's not only the spike of your uh, insulin. It's not only the spike of your energy and dropping down. It's not only you being fat, eczema, psoriasis, fungus, cancers, all the bad things that you can imagine. The main reason for that is sugar. Everything wants sugar because the same effect that sugar has on us, or us as a human beings, the same effect has on everything else. It will feed that bad thing. It will spike and make grow even more and reproduce even more. And let's stop that. Let's stop the sugar. You have so many other options for sweeteners instead of sugar. Trust me, after this, you will realize that you can do anything. It's not that you can't, it's you don't want to. So stop that excuse that you can't, try hard, be strong the first week, you will survive. Nothing bad will happen to you. The only bad thing that will happen to you at the beginning, this is very funny, is that in many cases, so many people, they are not able to poop just because of the changes in the meals, in the food. So um, I didn't have that kind of problem, but my research, a lot of people, I was watching like motivation videos of people who are also on keto and um, many of them, they said the same, that they are not able to poop, but that will last just the first few days. After that, all the food that is on keto is rich with fiber and you will not gonna have any problem. Even if you had problem with that before that, a lot of people are, have like a problems in going to the bathroom. Now, you will not gonna have any problem with that. I forgot to mention uh, at the beginning of the video where I was talking about the eating meat and eggs, about the vitamins that don't be afraid uh, that a lot of fruits are cut because of the sugar. Don't worry. A lot of people will say, oh, but the vitamins, like, how can you do that? Trust me, there is a lot of vitamins that you will get from there, especially for the bones. Calcium, zinc, vitamin K, your bones will become very, very strong and healthy. Actually, it's recommended for people who have like a weak bones and any kind of problem with the bones like osteoporosis. Uh, keto is recommended. I mentioned the most important changes, but there is many more little changes, healthy changes that will happen to your body. I really want to know all you guys who are watching this channel, what kind of changes you want to make to your body, what kind of struggles you have right now. Not only I'm fat, healthy, problems that you have please let me know in the comment below and let's work together thank you so much for watching this video if you are new here please subscribe below the video if you like this video also thumbs like you can watch the previous video uh, where i'm talking also about keto about uh, personal growth and improvements and yes for now, bye and see you in the next video.